Lingering issues for state lawmakers as they try now to wrap their session today affects 1.3 million Tennesseans. We are talking, of course, about health care. New here at 530, State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris Bungard looks at what's called a block grant for the state's Medicaid program. Lawmakers in these hallways have been deadlocked over the best way to use billions of dollars for the health care of 1.3 million Tennesseans. It is extraordinarily important to over a million Tennesseans who receive TennCare that we make sure that they get the services they need. House Republican Majority Leader William Lamberth outlined the basics behind the idea that state lawmakers want federal money in a block grant to pay for the state's Medicaid program ten care. Can we make those decisions better here in Tennessee than they can in Washington, D.C.? And I would say that we can. But the House 10 care block grant bill is different than the Senate version. The Senate version was more specific in what it wants from Governor Lee in negotiations for the block grant with federal Medicaid officials. We wanted flexibility to be able to take care of, of uh, any uh, cost increases in regards to uh, pharmaceuticals. Another is uh, making sure that if our 10 care population uh, grew that we would be able to get additional funding to take care of, uh, of our population growth. House leaders say lawmakers want a final say about what's negotiated in the 10 care block grant bill. They say the Senate has no such provision. A resolution between the House and Senate for the 10 care block grant bill is expected to be one of the last things lawmakers do to wrap up their session. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. All right, thank you, Chris. And of course, we're going to keep up with the progress as legislators now work on a compromise bill.